Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This week I'm going to be doing an experiment and I'm going to be showing you how to clean your diesel system in your car, your van, whatever it is. And I'm going to be trying out this product here. It's a diesel system treatment made by Wits. It's fairly pricey, about £15 for a bottle. So we're going to see if it actually works. So let me give you a quick rundown of how this experiment is going to work. I'm on my long week at work, which means I'm working three days, one day off and three nights. So essentially I'm working six days out of seven. For the first three days, I'm going to be running my car as normal without the system cleaner. And we're going to see what kind of miles per gallon we get. I'm going to be driving normally, normal conditions. I do the same journey to and from work, so I'm pretty used to it so we can see what kind of average mpg we get on a normal run and then on my next set of nights it's going to be i'm going to put some of this in fill the tank up again and we'll see what kind of miles per gallon we get after putting this system treatment in to finish off this video i want to change the fuel filter as well as i believe if you're putting this in the fuel tank if there's any gunk in the system it may loosen it up and then it's gonna get caught in the fuel filter. That's my theory anyway. Well, that hurt, 67 pounds 60. That wasn't even a full tank, it had a little bit in here already. That's one day down, I'm on our way home now, and I have to say, I tend to drive home a little bit quicker than I do on my way to work. And that's day two, done and dusted. And that's day three, done and dusted. I think my immune system is pretty low, got a cold. I wasn't particularly looking for more video inspiration, but I just got some. I'm gonna fit 500, put a massive chip in my windscreen. I'm not too pleased about it, to be honest. Here we go, we're on to our first night. I'm feeling a bit better after my rest day. Um, I'm going to fill the car up with diesel now and we're going to put the fuel additive in. I added the entire 500ml bottle of the diesel system cleaner and then topped it off with diesel. And this entire bottle treats up to 60 litres. It was based on the good Amazon reviews that I wanted to try this product out. So I went ahead and purchased two bottles of this treatment. I've since put one bottle in my van and one bottle in the car. I noticed a massive difference with the van being an older style engine with a mechanical fuel pump. The injectors are the original injectors on the van, so they've probably got a lot of build up in there. Hopefully with this diesel treatment, it will clean the injectors up a little bit um, and restore the spray pattern so we get better fuel consumption. I can't say that the fuel consumption is too bad anyway, but just as a preventative maintenance, I think it's a good idea to use a bottle of this every once in a while. On a typical run out in the van, I end up with a black bumper from the soot out of the exhaust pipe. And on this particular occasion, after using the fuel additive, I had a clean bumper. So it's definitely doing something. That's it, this week's done and dusted. I'm just on my way home now to get some well needed rest. So I've worked out all the average miles per gallon from the pictures I've taken before and after my journeys. And I've put them into this table here. In red, we had a couple of outliers. Well, we had one outlier on the first night and that was because I got stuck in loads of traffic. So I'm actually removing that um, figure from the test and I've also got to take it off of day one as well, uh, just to keep it fair. That was my first journey to work on the first day and the first journey to work on my first night. So let's take those out of the equation. And based on that, in green, we've got our average miles per gallon before and after using the diesel system treatment. So before we got 62.13 miles per gallon and after using the diesel system treatment, I got 68.6 miles per gallon. So we have actually seen an increase in fuel economy. As promised, I'm now going to show you how to change over the fuel filter. I did make a separate video about how to service your car fully, so how to change the oil, oil filter, fuel filter, air filter. 
Um, so if you want to check that one out, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. I'm just going to give this fuel filter housing a little clean before I take the lid off, just so we don't contaminate the fuel system. I've got my new fuel filter here. I'll put a link in the description to this one. They do a couple of different sizes for this engine, so make sure you measure the fuel filter housing to make sure you get the right size filter. Put that there. I've got a T20 Torx bit, and I'm just gonna loosen off the five screws on the top of this cover. We've actually got a Newton meet a specification here, a torque specification, 5 plus or minus 1. And that's the 5 bolts. I'm now going to carefully wiggle this. Ooh. Try not to spill diesel everywhere. And I'm just going to lift this cover. And then going to take out the old filter. I'm just going to leave that to rest in there for a minute so all the diesel drains back in to the container. Okay, that'll do. Just put the old diesel filter into the plastic bag. Just check you've got the right size fuel filter. On this particular occasion, I can actually see a little bit of debris in the bottom of the fuel filter housing. So I'm going to empty it completely and give it a thorough clean. And for that, I've got this large syringe, which I can use to extract the diesel. You can see bits in the diesel. That's no good. So we're going to give it a thorough clean. And unfortunately, I've got to get rid of this diesel. It's a shame, but I'd rather remove this diesel and get rid of it then have rubbish go into the injection pump because that's going to cost a fortune. I'm going to clean inside here thoroughly to make sure there's no bits in the bottom there. Now I'm going to put the brand new filter in. Right, so we've recently learnt that the system doesn't self-prime on the low pressure side, so I'm just going to fill up the fuel filter housing using a jerry can, and that way we won't starve the fuel pump when we come to start the engine. Just do a crisscross pattern. I'm now going to go and turn the ignition on and start it up. Just have a check around the fuel filter housing, make sure you haven't got any leaks. And that's it, job done. I did a separate little test on the car later that week to try and achieve the best miles per gallon I possibly could and the car reached 83.6 miles per gallon. That's the most I've ever got out of the car, and I think that's pretty good going for a two litre diesel engine. What's your best average miles per gallon you've ever got out of a single trip? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Would I recommend this product? Yes, I think I would. We've proved that it gives better fuel consumption. I personally feel that it does reduce black smoke or soot from when I was driving my van, because usually, like I said, I'd have a black bumper after a journey, and after adding this in, we didn't have a black bumper, so it's definitely doing something. You're getting cleaner combustion there. So try it out for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description to this product. Let me know what you think in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you for watching as always, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, take care.